Most days, you'll find Matthew Residlow hitting the trails at Duthie Park. A lot, like five or six days a week. I live super close. And now it's not just fellow mountain bikers on the trail. I think the problem with e-bikes is that you see people ripping around trails and, you know, it's basically a motorbike at that point, you know, they need to ride somewhere else. But as long as people are courteous and they share the, the bike park, I have, no, I have no problem with e-bikes at all. People like Residlo are exactly who the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife and DNR wanted to hear from as part of its survey looking at the use of e-bikes on natural surface trails. I think we've already had like 7,000 respondents to that survey. Legislation passed last year in Olympia also directs wildlife officials to get input from tribal leaders and the disabled community. E-bikes really provide a way for a lot of people to access trails and public lands that might not otherwise be able to. But there are concerns about more use on public lands. Our biggest mission is to protect the wildlife resources out there and so trying to balance you know, the two is, is very important. The survey wrapped up Friday and now wildlife officials have until the end of September to get its report to lawmakers, including Senator Marco Elias, chair of the Senate Transportation Committee. We don't want to have folks come too fast on trails where that's not safe. And we want to make sure they have the right kind of bike for the right kind of trails. The next step is policy. Officials hope the study will give clear rules and regulations on when and where e-bikes can be used. Ultimately, we want people to be out there enjoying it and using uh, these facilities, using our, our state lands to enjoy the outdoors. In Issaquah, Julie Calhoun, King 5 News.